I can't imagine anyone staying with her long term with the way she acts, you know? So obviously this is Ed talking about Liz. Interesting. Because he says this, interesting, David decided to come into the chat. And uh, David says, I am not going to stick my neck out on this one, but we should all wish Liz the best. He knows nothing about, uh, about how to treat a woman or even have a normal healthy relationship. Yes, I was not perfect in my younger years, but he still hasn't learned from the past. The only one Ed loves is himself. Maybe one day he will do some self-reflecting and have better, in uh, better outcomes. Until then, he will remain alone. Just my two cents. To be honest, not only was that just a two cents, that was nothing else but facts. But here's the thing though, let's talk about Ed. Let's talk about him having an opinion on Liz. Let's even talk about where Ed is right now in his own freaking life. So Ed came out, you know, talking about, uh, from what I understand, how he's looking for a good Christian woman. But then meanwhile, when we look at Ed and we look at his profile, what has he been up to? He's been out here living his best life. Yeah. With um, some random woman, okay, with blonde hair. Now, some people have speculated that maybe this is his woman. This is his new girl. Listen, for me personally, when I first saw this, I was like, I wouldn't be surprised if this is just somebody who he works with because we know that in his line of work, it involves him interacting with plenty of women. So really and truly now, the confirmation hasn't come out, but from what I understand, she's not his girlfriend. She's not his woman, okay? She's literally somebody uh, She's literally somebody that he works with, if anything. That's from what I understand. But here's the thing, though. Let's, let, let's talk about this. Actually, hold on a minute. Sidetrack. <laughs> I'm giving your dad dating advice this Father's Day. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't know what Ed knows about being a father. I mean, the last couple of years, or at least since he's been on the show, when it comes to him being a father, well, that hasn't exactly been one of his strong points. I mean, look at this way. Liz made it made abundantly clear in the last episode where she even threw shade at him and said, hey, well, this is why your daughter doesn't talk to you. And we all know about his relationship with his daughter anyway. So the fact that he even has that pose is actually quite freaking crazy and just nuts. But nonetheless, though, who is this man to have a comment, to have an opinion on Liz just because he's an ex of 13 freaking times to say, hey, she's never going to last. You know what the thing that Ed forgets? Ed forgets that Liz is still very, very young. She's only in her 30s. So she's still got plenty of time to work on any flaws that she may have. Or any flaws that she does have and she's got plenty of time to improve a lot of time to, to to reflect and therefore move forward ed on the other hand you don't have as much time left as liz you are in your 50s and just like david said you still have not reflected you still have not improved since god knows when so for him to have an, to have an opinion on somebody who's literally like 20 years younger than him somebody who's still got a whole life ahead of her someone who's still got time to develop and all that kind of stuff is actually freaking nuts because in reality, when you're somebody who's 50 plus and you're still out here literally claiming how you want a good Christian woman, but yet you're out here on strips doing the complete madness and just pretending that you're living your best life when we all know that deep inside you're still living your worst life. And your worst life is the fact that you are a miserable, miserable person who's never happy and really and truly can never be happy because you just see this world as, you walk around this world as if this world owes you something. You walk around this world as if the world should be bowed down to your knees just because you went for a little bit of trauma as a kid. Maybe you got bullied here and there. Bloody, bloody, bloody duh. Nobody gives a damn about what you went through. And I tell you why, because you've weaponized what you've been through to become mean to other people. It'd be very different if you went through things and you actually use it to better yourself and you was a reflection and therefore you took accountability and you became a good person, but you didn't. Anything that you've been through, you weaponized it and used an excuse to abuse others. And that's why, to be honest, whatever you've been through i could give a freaking scooby listen maybe unpopular opinion but at the end of the day the way i look at it is this in life we have choices we all have trauma we all go for certain things but how we use our trauma is always very key to how people are going to see us and obviously how people are going to respect us ed is somebody that cannot be respected and the fact that he wants to sit there and say that hey liz is never going to have a healthy relationship rather than sit there and be mature and be like listen i know the relationship didn't work with me and Liz. I know that I did what I did. I know that I broke up with so many times. I can't imagine how I probably ruined her own self-esteem and all that kind of stuff. But you know what? Now I finally moved on and finally left her for good. The only thing that I can do is wish her the best. That's the, the main thing. But instead of wishing Liz the best, he rather pretty much be out there making a statement out of what out of jealousy out of envy out of hate why are you making a statement why are you are you unhappy because she's now found somebody else already and you're still out here walking around looking for someone to just take you in and put up your bs to be fair liz was that person but yeah we all know what happened there
Nonetheless, though, if I was Ed, with the many years he has left in this, on this earth, he should focus more on building a relationship with his child before focusing on, on any type of relationship with anyone else, if you ask me personally. Because the way I look at it is this. If you can't have a, if you can't have a healthy relationship with your own child, how the hell are you supposed to have a healthy relationship with another woman? Let's just think about that. Especially given the fact that his own child is a, is a woman as well. Just let, let's, let's just let that sink in. You know what I'm saying? That, what I'm saying doesn't, doesn't necessarily... What I'm saying doesn't that uh, isn't something that pinpoints to every single person that's in a similar situation with him where you're alone and you got a bad relationship with your children. It doesn't mean that you have to, but with Ed specifically in this situation, he needs to work on being a better father and having a better relationship with his child first before going out there and ruining another fuck <laughs> and ruining another woman's freaking life. <laughs> you know what I mean? But nonetheless, though, let me know your thoughts, let me know your opinions, and uh, we can talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace. Oh.